Good evening. I am here. It is about 12.40 on Thursday morning, Wednesday night. Uh, I skipped yesterday. It, I always do that, don't I? I'm always like, I'll be back tomorrow, and then I'm never back tomorrow. Um, again, it was going to be kind of a skip Tuesday or skip Wednesday scenario, so I you're not missing out. What I'm streaming tonight was just what I was going to do yesterday, and I wasn't going to stream tonight. Probably also not going to stream Friday again, but I may stream Saturday this week. Um... Actually, things are a little di interesting right now because uh, it turns out that uh, when I bought Endwalker while it was on sale, it gave me more sub time in FF14, which I didn't realize it did, uh, and I didn't know until today, and I only have four days left on it, so I may bring 14 back for a stream tomorrow, just because then I'm not doing Metroid two days in a row. I don't know. We'll see. Because I, I, if I'm going to do a stream of 14, it has to be tomorrow. Like, tomorrow's the only day I can do it. Um, put my drink away because I've had it out of the thing too long. In fact, let me, I kind of just rushed into this without setting anything up here, here. i plug my phone in. There we go. Feels amazing, man. Yeah. Feels good. <clears throat> so yeah, I might do, uh, I might do 14 tomorrow. Return, a one stream return to 14 for a while. Um, Friday probably won't stream. Saturday, I'm probably going to do the Splatfest once halftime hits for a couple hours. And then Sunday, I'll probably just do more Metroid. The new DLC pack for Theater Rhythm came out. It's Near Automata music, which is nice, even though I've only played like an hour of Near Automata, so really doesn't uh, doesn't equate to much for me yet. But uh, I will play those songs on stream Chosen at some point. Wins. Running Riot. Uh, so, it's been, like, a week since I've played this, dang. Um, we're in the Chozo Ruins. This route, I think, leads to that tree area that I couldn't get past, because there's just a door. There's just a door I can't go through. Uh, but the other door leads to the ship, the crashed ship, which I can open with the ice beam in the trees of ruins. Also, I switched the control thing. I have to see what it was. Okay, it's, it's R. Because now... Yeah, X shoots missiles, which feels a lot better than having it be on R. Because now I can charge and then shoot a missile with X. I don't have the upgrade for this one yet, but... So yeah, the last two days have been kind of, a uh, Kind of penis -y. We're gonna be, uh, gonna be completely honest here. They haven't been good. Uh, yesterday I was just... Well, first off, the reason I stopped, I didn't stream yesterday, was it, there was a reason for it. Uh, work sucked, and then I was also just sleep-deprived afterwards. I don't know why. I, I just couldn't stay awake. I fell asleep from, like, midnight till 2 a.m., and then I woke up for, like, another hour and a half, and then I went to bed again. I feel a little more rested today, but not a ton, unfortunately. And work was also... Once again, pretty, pretty shit today. They're, they're really, like, ever since we cut a bunch of people at our, at our company, it's just, it's just not been great. Wait, no, this is the tree. Ah, oh, damn it. This is where I'm not supposed to be. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Monka S. Yeah, no, work, um, I'm not, I'm, I'm, ugh, man, I, I've been, I've been dissatisfied with work for a long time, but especially recently, the last few weeks have been particularly bad, just because everything that could, like, it's not even the fact, can you see the emote? No, I can't actually. Is that, if, if that's a better Twitch emote, I can't see it. Such a dummy. All right, here we go. I thought this was the one that led to the tree. It's a bunch of Pepe's. God. Burnt Pepe. Uh, so yeah. Work's been pissing me off. And, uh, it's, you know... It should be motivation for me to push the voiceover stuff further because I have the tools to make it happen now. But I just haven't had the energy to put into it. It's, it's, it's frustrating. 
Um, but, you know, sooner or later I'll, I'll get it done and start... Start putting more effort into it. I finally finished, like, everything I need to do on that, on the site that I'm using. Hey, EV2, how you doing? I finally finished everything I need to do on the site that I'm using, so I have a higher chance of, of booking work on there now. But, I mean, I've got a long way to go before that could be anything consistent and, you know... Like, life-supporting, essentially. But yeah, my job's just been... Pissing me off. Because I've been, I've, I've been doing too much. Okay, see, now I'm hitting the wrong button for missiles. We've gone full circle. It's still something. I mean... Wait, what do you mean? What are you talking about? The Getting the profile done or getting to work? I mean, yeah, it's still something. It's it's money either way, or it's putting me towards money, but... Uh, it's, just, it's just hard to deal with. It's hard to deal with... Yeah, the profile, yeah. It's hard to deal with because... Even if I make money on there... If I'm only booking, like, one job a week... Then even if I'm getting, like... A substantial amount of money per job it's it's not going to be you know sustainable in the long run and i'm going to put this out there the the job the site that i'm using for jobs is pretty lucrative in terms of like if you get a lot of work like the minimum they offer for jobs on there is like a hundred dollars for like an hour or two of work which is a lot of money but you're, the problem is you're just not getting the work that often and that's the that's the bare minimum if you're good on there you know you're making full-time salary every week I can't... Map hasn't changed here. How am I only at 36% items com like collected? Oh my god. It's wild that Vinny was able to beat this in like five streams and I'm like... Four streams in and I'm still like not even halfway through collecting shit. Oh, woo! Wait, danger? Danger from what? Oh. Flame. I can barely see. Okay, that's where I came out of. Can't we just destroy something? Yeah, trust me. The way things have been going recently, I've very much been in a yeah, shit needs to shit needs to go kind of mood. But I will not elaborate further on that. <laughs> this is where we get the Gravino suit. Graviolis. The Gravitons and Graviolis. There was a good Samus face right there. It's only underwater. It has to be at a specific... Yeah, there you go. It has to be a specific angle. That's such a neat touch. No spagoots allowed. Oh, man. I could go for some spagoot. I do have a half-eaten uh, Jack Links here that I have to finish, but probably not going to be doing that on stream. Probably wait until I'm done streaming. Yeah, I don't want to go in there. Door is no power. A nearby power conduit must be energized for it to open. A blast of electrical energy will open the conduit. Conduit radiates some heat that is invisible to the... Okay. Right there. 
Wrong button. Oh my god, I'm, I'm fucking it up now because I'm not used to this. Wait, no, I need... Why am I spinning? I'm not holding the controller in a movable spot. Am I drifting? Uh-oh. Talon Crab, crustacean native of Talon 4, hard shell swarm life form. Once harvested for food, exposure to Phazon has seen this practice diminish. The creatures are timid and harmless alone, but can be a problem when traveling in swarms. Oh, good. Okay, I think my controller's drifting. That's that's not good. It's drifting in a new way too. That's really frustrating. May have to drop some uh Yeah, I think that's drift. Very unhappy about that. That doesn't cause me trouble for for weeks and now suddenly it's back during a stream. Hey, Sleeps, how you doing? Oh, I like water music. No, this isn't my Joy-Con, it's my Pro Controller. My Joy-Cons don't have drift right now. I'm sure this is fixable, I probably just have to spray some Deoxit into it. Good god, this game is pretty. Yeah, it is. This game was pretty on the GameCube, and somehow it's even better now. Somehow. I mean, it's been 20-something years, so... Of course it's better. But it's- it is- it's good. This is the first time I'm playing it. Oh. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Ah, uh, that's cool. Well, not getting back up there. That looks like a creature. Aqua Reaper, powerful aqu aquatic tentacle, part of a submerged organism. Similar in nature to the surface-based Reaper vine, the Aqua Reaper has adapted to a liquid environment. It shares the poor vision of its rock-dwelling cousin, relying on its crude sonar sense to seek prey. Unhindered by water, the Aqua Reaper has considerable speed and strength. Probably just come right the hell back, though. Tangleweed. I don't know why I'm wasting my time on this thing. Something about how Autoc could have scored for this game. Autoker? Autocre? I don't know how to pronounce that. Listen to their EP Garbage MX20 from 1995. It's amazing how much it sounds like Lost Metroid Prime music. Autecker. Ah. Interesting. This game does have a very specific feel to its music. More so than other Metroid games. Even though it does rely on like the same melodies from other ones. Uh, I don't know where the hell I'm supposed to go. There are Warp Records Electronica who basically birthed the glitch music genre. Cool. Ah! Wait, what did I land on? Oh, wait, what? Ah. No. Can I... 
get over here. Yeah, there we go. Four nearby power conduits. Uh, uh, okay. Well, there's one. They are apparently supposed to compose the game's OST, but fell through for some reason. You hear echoes of their sound in this game's music. Might have to share some with me later. Nice. I'm assuming that's that would have been Retro Studios doing and getting them to do that. Where's the last one? Where's that damn fourth chaos or power conduit? There it is. I had a feeling it was going to be down there. Retro Studios and Attacker happen to be based in the same place in England. Oh, cool. I would love to hear their take on, on this kind of music. This song in particular, though, is definitely a different feel than the rest of the soundtrack so far. Um, if anything, this song specifically reminds me of a song from Jet Force Gemini, which... I, I can't remember. Was that David? That was, that was Grant Kirkhope that did the soundtrack for that one. Already not liking the looks of this. Primary door control is inoperable. Auxiliary controls must be used. I was watching an episode of NT Warrior today. As I, I'm, like I mentioned on Monday, uh, Capcom uploaded all of NT Warrior and access uh, to their YouTube channel. The dub of it. And there's an episode where Lan has to plug in his PET underwater. And I'm just like, how would that work? Wouldn't your port, like, as soon as you stick it into the electro uh, the electric socket underwater, just, like, electrocute you to death? How that, that doesn't work. Door's no power. Two nearby power conduits. Okay. NT Warrior, if you're looking for that. Yeah, Mega Man. NT Warrior. It's the Mega Man Battle Network anime. Is it related to NT Trooper? No. It's, um, it's the Mega Man Battle Network uh, anime. Specifically, the, the English dub of it. I can open that door. People. Okay, interesting that there's just two doors. Probably one of them leads to a save point. Not that one. Probably this one. Yep. Have to check that out. Yeah, so it's, it's again, it's all on Capcom's YouTube channel right now. They have it all uploaded for free, no ads. All dubbed episodes of both the original season and Axis, which is only like half the series, but it's as far as uh, the dub got, unfortunately. Auxiliary door, con door controls online. This is so annoying. I'm, I'm really not going to like that. Energy tank lies within this crashed lift. Concussive blast should destroy the lift's door panel. Let me guess, I can't use missiles underwater until I uh, get the, gra the Graviga suit. Or not. I could just, I could just shoot. I realize that, like, there's only two collectibles in this game outside of the upgrades, the energy tanks and the missiles, because all the auxiliary abilities for the arm cannons just use the missiles, which is pretty cool. It's very streamlined. I like how that's done. So it's just get get E-tanks, get missiles, and such. Ah, uh, yeah, the, the Nightbot donation thing. Um, progress hindered by liquid environment. Power suit augmentation required to advance. Yeah, so Nightbot's still posting that uh, donation link. Um, it's going to be active until this Friday. Uh, on April 1st, I'm shutting it down.
Water pressure moment, yeah. Dun 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 Uh, okay, where am I going? If I can't go any further this way, then where the heck am I going? Period. Stop. This feels like it could be blown up or something, but... So I was going to do my uh, Q3 or Q2 uh, stream plans today, but uh, because or, or yesterday really, but because of um, you know, because I just didn't stream, I didn't I didn't want to bother tonight. I might wait till next week to talk about it because again, there's a lot coming up in April and May, and even in June, June and July, I pretty much have my stream plans set outside of like a very few specific points. Once Tears of the Kingdom comes out, though, that's kind of it. Like, we're, we're, we're fucked. Wait a minute. Can I just blow this up down here? This looks like it's fairly, uh, no. Gel zap. <sighs> where can I go? Oh, where can... Well, there's a hole down there, but how do I open that? Both of those pads lead nowhere. I didn't get any sort of upgrade. Town 4 is such an incredible place. It is a really nice looking place. And it's cool to have a spot that's different from the other... Uh, other Metroid games. Because up till now, it was pretty much always... You're always on Zeebs or you're always on SR388. Though to be fair, I think... What, Fusion came out like the same time this game did, didn't it? Also, Fusion's on the NSO app now. Can I unlock the Fusion suit in this game? Because the Fusion suit data is in this game. Alright, there's gotta be something I could do here to, like, open the hole. Nope. No, it just stops targeting. It'd be a real good time for the game to give me that, like, hint beep that it sometimes does. back up. But where else can I go? Like, here's here's the big issue here. There, There's not many other places I could go to right now. That tree place... Whoa, what was that noise my nose just made? In this, I'm already. I'm, I'm, I'm. What is it? It's 20 minutes in, and I'm already lost. I didn't even really do anything.
Oh, come on, man. All right. Uh, wh why am I stuck now? What's happening? Visually, in like five Y, Zeebs had a particular look and while it was iconic. It was Zeebs for both Metroid 1 and 2. It was Zeebs, it was Zeebs in 1 and 3. 2 was SR388, which is also technically, I guess, what Fusion floats around, but it isn't actually on. Oh, those aren't boxes. Ugh. And then you had other M, which was on the bottle ship, which was like, okay, whatever. Supplies of la missile launcher with 10 rounds of ammo. I knew that one was different. Scan 75% of the logbook. Cool. I knew that looked different. Other M can be perfectly described by the word whatever in general. Yeah. I played it uh, two years ago as both a horrible game that I promised and uh, as part of the Metroid like classic series marathon since I was doing every main game up till uh up to Dread when that came out. And, uh, it was okay. The biggest problem I had with Other M was controlling the game in a 3D environment with a D-pad. There's no reason why that game should not have used Wiimote and Nunchuck at the same time. And it just didn't. Story was not good, but it also wasn't anywhere near as bad as people ma made it out to be, I feel. The main issue with the story is just the melodramatic acting. The, the actual story is like, okay, whatever. It's it's a decent Metroid story. It's just kind of weird and overacted. That opening cutscene, that opening pre-rendered cutscene that recaps the end of Super Metroid, where the bit where the, the infant Metroid gets killed by Mother Brain, that scene is great. If the whole game was like that pre-rendered cutscene, that the game would have been pretty damn good. Kind of weird and misguided, yeah. Not the worst story ever, yeah. Voice acting was flat. For the most, for some of it. Some of the voice actors were definitely not given a great, like, good direction on it. I feel they tried way too hard to make Samus, like, aloof and, and... Can I get up there, maybe? No. There's no platforms that go up there. Well, that's great. Now I've gone, like, nowhere. I got an energy tank. That was it. Well, that is cool. Not exactly what I'm looking for. Now I have to figure out what other white doors I can open. Metro Dread made up for it. Yeah, definitely. Dread's story... Everything in Dread was excellent. It was hard, but it was excellent. Wrapped up everything in that storyline with a nice bow, which was really good. These big, long cylinders, but none of them ever have anything to do in them. Can I get in there, maybe? No. No, that's that's a blank area. Samus just to me is a calm person that can and will kick your ass if they have to. Yeah. The thing is, like, yeah, Samus has been through a lot. It's it's no it's not any stretch of the imagination to think that she probably has a lot of trauma. But at the same time, you know, other M kind of played that up really hard at points, and it definitely felt out of character for how they usually portray her. Personally, oh, thank God, finally. Why does this game take so long to give me those unusual gravity patterns analyzed? Gravity pulses within the Fendrana area. Okay, so we're nowhere near where we have to go. Gravity chamber. I'm assuming that's where the gravity suit is. And then we come back here. Alright. 
to Frenjura Brubur. Oh, God damn it, they're back. A couple missiles goes a long way. Anyway, we'll just head back from here, because this, this will let me replenish my ammo, too. Sounds like her past beyond I was though, which is why she was ready to pump a shot in a Ridley's face, yeah. Uh, but maybe I could grab maybe I can grab that now. I mean I could probably just get it later when I get the gravity suit, because I'm assuming that's what's in the gravity chamber. Energy breaker. Gravity chamber. I will make one attempt at this. Love freaking alien people, animal people, stuff like the Chozo Metro, the alien dog people from Treasure Planet. <laughs> I've never seen Treasure Planet. I keep hearing how that movie's good. Okay, let's do this. We can do this. Nope. Okay, never mind. They, they strategically placed it just far enough that you can't reach it. Big movie, very good movie, painfully underrated, big movie of childhood, home of the fruitest dad-like Disney character ever. What was the last Disney movie I saw, not counting, like, Marvel or whatever else they own? Fox. Actually, come to think of it, what was the last movie I saw in theaters? God, was it Dragon Ball Superhero? Wow. That was, that was, that was almost a year ago. Last movie I actually watched was uh, The Babadook. I watched The Babadook and Skinema Rink in, in, in like succession. And then before that I watched Knives Out and Glass Onion, which were all very all of them were good movies in their own right. Okay, I gotta go to Fendrana. Let me figure out where that is. How am I only at 37% items? Chozo Ruins Will Weast. Uh Magmore Caverns East. Chose a ruins. Chose a ruins. Is is the only way to get there through Magmore Caverns. Ugh. All right. Let's LFG. That's right. Let's let's fucking go. Skin ring fucked you up. It was it was a genuinely unsettling movie. It was a generally unsettling movie. I wouldn't say it's the scariest thing I've seen, but uh, it is absolutely a uh, a weird, weird unsettling mov movie. I don't know how many times I could say that. Yeah, now nah, you ain't watching no spooky movies. Nah. I wouldn't say it's the scariest movie. I would definitely say it's it's arts it's an artsy scary movie kind of. Okay, that's Chozo Ruins. We want to go down here because this will take us closer. That means we have to climb that annoying ass fucking. Th Wait, hold on. How do I back out here? A. Magmore Caverns West. Yeah, there's really only one elevator, huh? Oh, no, there's two. Magmore Cavern South. Great. Yeah, I have to go up that long-ass... Oh, wait, no, I could probably go down... Hmm. See, now I don't know. Now I gotta check to see what's what's where. Where the Chozo Ruins lead. Talon Overworld East. That's where I was before. Still can't go there. That's where I am now. Still can't go there. North? No. Oh, this is so...
so annoying. Okay, let's go down the, the, the hole. Like, I've always been a person in very into psychological horror, yeah. Can deal with scary games outside of that, nope. I love artsy psychological horror. It feels fine to finally get a movie like that again after so long, after the constant pop scare fest, yeah. Skin of a Rink only has, like, one or two kind of jump scares to them, and you, and you can kind of tell where they're coming, when they're coming. I definitely can't jump up there. My eyes have felt kind of weird all day. My eyes have felt like kind of greasy, like there's something oily in them. When I um, when I went to see the uh, optometrist back in January to get my eyes examined, she put this like yellow liquid in my eyes that she used to. Um, it's like used to. I, I don't know if it was to dilate it or if it was for something else. It was for it was to measure something, and it was very oily. And like when I rubbed it out on my eyes afterwards, it like felt very oily, and that's how my eyes feel right now. And I think it's because I may have, because I ate something greasy for dinner and I may have some grease on my hands that didn't fully wash off. And I may have gotten it in my eye, but I'm not sure. I think I'm also just, I don't know, my eyes have been tearing up a little bit today. Felt that. It's an allergy thing for you. Oh yeah, it could be allergies too. Forgot it's spring now. I just don't go outside ever. Okay, where's the closest elevator to Fendrana? South, okay. Yeah, it's the better way, because the other way I have to go through all those enemies. Wrong button. ZL. Spring is ass. I'm only affected by it because I keep the window open on occasion. My window, it turns out, doesn't close fully. The very top part of my window, like the lock on it, has worn off. From years of use. Or just being old. Like, it's just, it's just an old window. So, like, the cold air gets into my room sometimes. Don't care. Don't care. There's stuff up here, but I can't get to that yet either. Oh, wait a minute, can I? There's a ledge over here. Hey, Moya Art, thank you for the uh, thank you for the raid. I was wrong and the art club is out today with our date then we decided to come here and play well thank you oh oh i need the grappling hook for that okay i'm guessing you were uh doing art ah. Ooh. Well, that was a noise yep michael meet michael nice to meet you michael <laughs> nice. Your name is also Michael. Cool. Ah. Oh god. I didn't realize these were here. Still better than dealing with the other room of them. I'm in the water. I'm in the lava. I, no. Stop. Stop.
I'm like tempted to switch the controls back because I'm just not used to it. <laughs> What's still shooting me? Hold, hold up. Oh, you're still alive. Okay. Get out of here. There we go. Welcome, welcome. How was your stream? Uh, do, 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 Also, what kind of art? Good did some Metroid art. Oh, nice. Uh, digital, uh, physical, uh, I don't know, pixel, <laughs> I don't know. I'm guessing digital, digital art, yeah. Cool. I definitely, uh, I definitely am tempted to go and check it out now. Uh, what's that other door? Oh, that's a save state. Actually, that's good. I could use that. I need the healing. I would say I'm a pretty big Metroid fan, but also not really. I'm a fan of what I've played. This is my first time through Prime, actually. In any Prime game. I've played all the, uh, main line games. Including, uh, Other M. But I have not touched any of the any of the prime games. Would I kiss a Chozo? Of course I would. Okay. We're at Fendrana. Uh, we have to go to the gravity chamber, which is uh It's over here. Oh, wait a minute. Is that what's through the white door down here? Literally the one door I can remember. That was an ice beam door. Yep. Alright, well, let's head towards the uh, research station. Not too fond of your name. Uh... <laughs> I don't want to fight that thing. There's no point. There's also an upgrade here I haven't gotten yet, but I need the grapple beam. I'm guessing the grapple beam is not the next upgrade. She goth gaming. <laughs> Playing remastered also. I haven't played in almost two decades. Wow. So you pretty much played when the original came out. This, this February in general was just a really good month for remasters for Nintendo. Oh, those things? Oh no. I don't know. Fight them. Okay, good old missile does the work. Job. I don't want to say job. I don't like thinking about my job. Oh, come on. Ugh. Where are those key side balls? I need to make some homing missiles. Always was intrigued about Metroid ever since playing it as a kid in Melee. Now it's a huge Metroid fan. One of your favorite series that preys on your fear of the unknown. It is a very mysterious series at times. I gotta say, every room in this game makes me kind of tense, like when I enter it for the first time. And even going back now, because they changed the enemies in it. I mean, it's a lot different when you're seeing the game in first person like this. I'll say that. Are you new? No, you're not. Shadow Pirate.
Shadow pirates, ice pirates. You got all sorts of pirates. This room is just designed to eat missiles, huh? Uh, you're ready to hear this song for the next 30 minutes. Oh, this area is so, so pretty, yeah. I, I liked the outer area of this, not so much this inner part. Where I have to hear this music every room. I gotta be honest, this is probably my least favorite part of the game so far, and I'm back doing it again, only without having to do it in the dark. Oh, that's me doing that noise. At least in the dark, it makes it really scary, yeah. Sorta. I mean, I just kind of blasted all the Metroids. Why is... Oh, God, is it actually dark? Still dark? Oh, that's not fun. Oh, great. Yeah, it's still in the dark. Great. Oh, and the Metroids are back, too. Neat. Okay, so charge shot and one missile takes him out. Or not. Also, thought the yellows were a hundred. Going back, it's kind of bruh, yeah. I want to deal with going back through this again. Is that Metro gonna break out at me? Also, you know there's still enemies here if you hear the music. I like Memtrog, yeah. Mem Memtrog is my favorite game. I gotta be honest, I like, again, I never played... If you don't know this... Ah, frick. I guard down for two seconds. Oh, that was a gun. Okay. very generous of the game. But yeah, my, my history with Metroid yeah, is uh, it's not really... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna take this moment to... This is already 1.30. Damn, it's already 1.30? That's right, I started late. I'm gonna grab a drink out of my mini fridge. Um, I only played, up until I was in college, I had only played Samus Returns I'm sorry, Return of Samus on the Game Boy for like one night as a kid, and I hated it because I couldn't figure out what to do. I borrowed it from a friend, I couldn't figure it out. Then, when I was in college, I got the GBA NES Classics Metroid, which was just Metroid 1, which was also a stupid idea. I should have gotten Metroid Zero Mission, because at that point it probably wasn't super expensive. And I beat it, but again, I didn't like it. I was like, oh, Metroid 1's not fun. So I kind of never touched the series again. And then, um... Zero Mission is so fucking baller, it is. It is. The GBA games are still probably my favorite in terms of physics. 
um, after I finished college and when I was like going through a period where I was just kind of bumming around doing nothing all the time, uh, I watched someone from Vine Sauce, Dire Boar, stream uh, Metroid Zero Mission for a charity stream, and that got me curious, so I played it, and I, you know, played it, you know, not on the books, played it, but I played it, and Fusion, and, and I loved it, and I was like, oh my god, this is great, now Metroid's finally clicking with me. So I played those, I finally played through the, the Metro, uh, Return of Samus properly, uh, played through Super Metroid, and they were all pretty good. Super Metroid I actually didn't like as much as other people because the physics in it aren't as good as the GBA games, in my opinion. They're very floaty. Which is on purpose, but... Yeah. And then, uh... I would do Zero Mission. When I first started streaming, I would do Zero Mission, like, not speed runs, but just kind of quick runs that I'd finish in, like, an hour. And, um... Then in 2021... Yeah, 2021, I finally did uh, Ret Samus Returns on the 3DS, and I did uh, Other M, along with replaying the other classic Metroid games up until Dread, and then I played Dread. And it was pretty good, outside of when I lost my shit at the final boss. That final boss gave me such a hard time, and I was not happy with it. But I also, apparently I missed some very crucial stuff I could have done during it. Which would have made it a lot more manageable. And I was fully upgraded too. That fight is just hard. So, and now I'm playing Prime 1. Uh, I will play the rest of the Prime series as well. I'm assuming... I'm, I'm, I'm making a big assumption here, but... Given the pattern... That uh, I'm led to believe, we might be seeing Remastered 2 and 3 by this time next year. And I'll probably play to them. And I'll also play, uh, I'll probably play, um, I'll probably play, uh, Hunters as well. Maybe I'll even throw a pinball stream in there. In fact, I'm gonna play, I'm gonna even play, uh, Federation Force. Because I've heard Federation Force is not terrible. It's just not the Metroid game we needed at the time it came out. What are my thoughts on Prime? Well, I mean, from what I've played so far, I'm loving it. Outside of the... Outside of outside of the map not keeping track of where the items are, which I'm hoping gets fixed in 2 and 3, uh, it's pretty good. I'm not a fan of the fact that the item, the map does not keep track of the power-ups you haven't grabbed. Because by this point, that was already a standard for the series. Because Fusion and Super Metroid were both out at this point. Yeah, it's also I also feel like it's easy to not figure out what to do in this. And the hint system, while it is cool, it doesn't seem to pop up that often. I think there's an option to make it more often, but I'm not sure. Hint system. Yeah, you could turn... I have the hint system on, but it's like... It's it's like once every 30 minutes. Sometimes it's quicker. It's it's weird. It's like the game knows if, if, you're, if you're going in the right direction or not. But it seems like it, it waits if you're kind of lagging. But yeah, Metroid as a whole, I'm very much enjoying. Um, I still say Zero Mission's probably my overall favorite. But that's also because it's the first one I finished that I really enjoyed. Metroid 1 is definitely my least favorite. Like, Metroid 1 original, it's it's not good. It has not aged well. I honestly would not recommend anyone play it until they've played Zero Mission. <sighs> okay, there's going to be a bunch of enemies. Actually, can I just blast that door open? No, it's got a lock on it. Watching those things spin out. It's so satisfying. Also, it always feels like one more spawns in afterwards. I don't think they're here to begin they're all here to begin with. Also, I gotta remember the, the strafe jump. 
I'm, I'm not doing that enough. Metro 1 is... See, there's more. That wasn't there originally. I'll say this. When I'm doing... Sh when I'm strafing, not being able to know what's directly next to me is kind of annoying. Like, it's the one thing that's annoying about the first-person perspective. It's like... If you don't know where stuff is, you get caught very easily. But I mean, that's also part of the fun of the game. That's also part of the challenge of this particular type of game. Really use more missiles. There we go. Also, the fact that this game in particular has no way of refilling missiles outside of, uh... Outside of either going back to your ship or finding the missiles... Well, I guess other games... No, this game doesn't have missile stations. They're just very rare. I forgot there is there is one in the Chozo Ruins. But yeah, those missiles... Like, there's no... Like, there's only that one missile station in this game. It's very weird. So far. I don't know if there's more later, but... It's interesting, and missiles are very important in this game, too, because they fuel all, like, the, the special weapons. Like, the super missile is five regular missiles as opposed to its own ammo. I don't know what the point of this is. There was nothing in either of these sides. Metro 1 is kind of men like playing FDS with the save feature and the little improvements. See, I don't know what else has improved in the, 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 the disc system of 1 outside of the music and the saving. Because, I mean, the the... Password system works fine. Problem with the problem with most Metroid games is that there's a huge spike usually at the end in terms of difficulty. Like Metroid One, doesn't matter if you have all the upgrades or not. Mother Brain's still gonna be a pain in the ass to fight. And I feel like that's the case in a lot of Metroid games. It like doesn't matter how many upgrades you have, you're gonna have a hard time at the end, which is good because it means if you got everything, it's still not gonna it's not gonna be like the easiest thing ever. But I don't know. I'll say that the game, again, the Game Boy Advance games have the perfect difficulty with that. Especially Zero Mission, because Zero Mission's difficulty actually does go up if you have 100%. But even then, it's still fairly manageable. But it's more fun in Quick Runs then, because then in Quick Runs, I'm not grabbing everything, and, and Mecha Ridley is just kind of a lot easier to deal with. I don't mind challenging fights. I, I do I don't enjoy dying a ton though. <laughs> I don't enjoy redoing stuff, which is the end of Metroid Dread. It kind of got me uh, got me a little salty, so much so that I cut out, cut out a part of it when I uploaded it to uh, YouTube. I was like, ooh, it's a little too angry. This is where I fought the first Metroid. I have a genuine adoration for Zelda 1. Zelda 1 is okay. Zelda 1 is pretty good. It's just that, especially the last dungeon, it, it gets like... It can get kind of bullshit hard. There's some enemies in that game that are just a pain to fight. I'm a Metro. I just can't enjoy like Zelda 1, even though they're very similar. Esoteric. You mean aesthetic? Esoteric means they're obscure. Man, there's... That's another interesting thing about this game. There's a bit of lag. But like, when you fire a missile, you cannot go back to arm cannon right away. They definitely try to make this feel more realistic than other... I almost said Zelda games, because we're talking Zelda... We were talking Zelda. Esoteric means hard to understand. Cryptic obscure. Oh... Well, that's kind of right. There's another one right here, isn't there? Yep. Oh, there's two of them. Cool. Fits in both contexts. Okay. Text is... Text is... Are you still alive? No. 
So yeah, how about that, uh... Tears of the Kingdom stuff from the other day? I knew what that was not Damn it. Nah, dude is honk shoe snore me 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 you can move on. Yeah. So Tears of the Kingdom, that that tr that thing, that gameplay demonstration y yesterday. Was it yesterday? It was. It was yesterday morning. It was um it was interesting. They showed off the new powers you get instead of the Sheikah Slate powers and um cuz it very much looks like you do not get the Sheikah Slate in the sequel. It looks cool. Apparently, people are very divided on it because it seems that the new options they're giving you kind of take away from what people wanted the core of Breath of the Wild to be like. Because I think people were expecting Breath, uh, Tears of the Kingdom to go more like traditional Zelda while keeping the open world. And apparently, it seems like instead they're leaning more full tilt into the open world and open world physics with uh, the powers that they demonstrated in it. And, um, I mean, I'm up for that. I absolutely loved... Breath of the Wild. I mean, most people who played it did. Let's be honest. If people liked Zelda, they liked Breath of the Wild. But I can understand where people are coming from now. They want it to be kind of more of a return to form while keeping all the all that's new with it. I'm if it's more just breath if it's just more Breath of the Wild, but in the sky, I'm gonna be fine with it. I'm absolutely down for another two hundred hours of that. It's been six years or five years at this point. We're fine. Yeah, it has been six years. Wow, 2017. There's bird people. I'm okay with it. Yes, there is. There'll be bird people. Actually, I don't know. They're they're not. In, they weren't in any of the trailers or gameplay. But I can't. I can't imagine they wouldn't be there. That game. Wait a minute. That's interesting. There's a power conduit there. That game uh, is how I became friends with Sean. Though, to be fair, I'm pretty sure a lot of people be knew found out about Sean because of that game. Even though I've actually... Uh... Oh, great. Metroids. Even though I have heard him in some things before, and including Freedom Planet, which was kind of a surprise finding out that was him in that game, because that game is kind of important to me. No. Do not. The security cameras are the worst enemy ever. I hate them. They're everywhere. Hey, what am I locking on to? What is this? That's terrifying. Yeah, no, you're right. That's him. Oh god, stop, stop, stop. <sighs> Metroid jump scare. Ugh. Two steps with this thing. And there's two of them. This is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. Just missile soakers. They don't absorb your energy as quickly as the original Metroid. Though I'm not a fan of the visor getting reset every time. That's annoying.
cannot be opened with that weapon. Oh, I need the ice beam. Frozen Pike. Okay. Looks like it's a path back to the elevator. That's interesting. And two paths down there. I know. I know where that is. You told me already. Ball cave. <sighs> Friend made a ROM hack for Zelda One. That's cool. Control swap is still messing me up. Okay, that leads back down there, but that's also a one-way road if I go back down there. I don't think I can reach the gravity thing. The spider track from up above. Working. My booster stopped. Cool. I'm, I'm down here. Cold as hell in your room. Might be because you're watching cold gameplay. Maybe. My room is... It's, it's very... I'm always warm because these headphones heat my ears up. Mostly because all the leather on them is worn out and now it's just pure foam on my ears. I, think I need new headphones. I 
no idea where to go here. Should I go to the water door or should I? Oh, I don't even know if I can get up there again. Oh wait, I can't get in there. I don't think I can. No, I think I need the gravity suit to get in there. Okay. We have to go up to the top door. Nothing to get here. What? what the hell? It's like a swarm of scarabs just standing. That was weird. That a glitch. Glider, docile airborne creatures with unusual magnetic properties. Gliders live a relatively peaceful existence. They have a magnetic signature attuned to a common grapple beam technology. The sport of glider riding involves using a grapple beam to attach to a glider, then staying on it as long as possible. Maybe I'm not getting the gravity suit now. Oh, what hit me? What just attacked me? Hunter Metroid, adolescent Metroid, energy siphon tentacles to increase its threat level. As Metroids develop to become efficient predators, energy draining tentacles allow them to attack at distance. Quick to anger, a Hunter Metroid will charge troublesome prey and attempt to ram them into submission. Cold based attacks are still quite effective against these creatures. Okay. like an upgrade of some sort. That might be the grapple beam. Maybe not, though. Who knows? Or it could be anything else. Rock structure appears to... Oh, okay. It's a 
missile expansion. Oh, this floor is frozen. Missiles did not do anything. Save room. What's some lore? All Metro is destined for phase on ranges in the mines must pass inspection. Temperature affiliated behavioral index for Metro is available at all research terminals. Access code LIF22. Yeah, that wasn't good. that wasn't good lore. I said I have my jacklings here, but I haven't finished it. I don't want to eat it while I'm playing. <laughs> these rooms till I fully explore them, but... Scatter Bamboo. God, this area is so big. Okay, so I see that some rooms are connected. This room has three exits. Another gel zap. Ugh.
things. Ugh. Okay, they're dead now. on this. There we go. Alright, well now what do I do? Rom hack, you're playing is incredible. Cool. Link actually swings his sword in it. Oh nice, like Link's Awakening. Ugh, that's not gonna get me anywhere. Not being able to see doesn't really help. One path forward. I wonder what this upgrade is, because it could either be the gravity suit or the grapple beam. Because both seem very viable for this area. Let me up there. Oh, look at that molten. Fishies. Oh my god. I bet there's items here I'm missing. That's the gravity suit. Let me grab it, please. Please? Let me grab it. There we go. Let us T-pose. And that's not really a T-pose. Your legs are spread. There we go. Purple Samus is back, baby. This 
Say must be like 500 points to hydrate. <laughs> Gravity suit acquired. Moving in liquid environments is no longer hindered. Additional download data, blah, blah, blah. New extras unlocked. Yeah, now we can move. Now we can schmoove underwater. With the gravity suit's just here. No fight or anything. You just get it. This stalactite contains many different types of mineral deposits. One of the minerals detected in the ice structure appears to be a volatile form of volcanic rock. This rock makes the formation incredibly strong against tremors and concussive blasts, but it will become unstable if heated. Cool, so I'm going to be coming back here at some point. Now since it's a viable grapple point for the, okay. I'm assuming, I don't know, I guess I must have missed stuff in here because stuff I haven't gotten yet. Yeah, of course there's another one. Or not. Improves the suit's defensive shield and gravity suit allows for improved movement in liquid environments does not reduce damage delivered from supposed to hazardous fluids. Okay. Oh, visor mods make it easier to see underwater too. Cool. So now it's easier to see. I suffered. Now I do not have to suffer. Except now there's pirates where there wasn't before. back down to the bottom over there. Feels like I'm missing stuff in all these rooms.
Nice. Eeb. What? Absorb the missiles. There we go. Yeah, the movement feels so much better. I mean, it always does. That's the point of the gravity suit. It just feels so rewarding. Okay, so where else haven't I gone yet? I mean, I've... I guess nowhere. I've gone through all the doors. Now I could jump higher underwater. Oh, so... There's other spots I could go to. Sorry, my brain is, is kind of... Tapping out already. Well, I guess... Quarantine cave. I still can't get up there. I need the grapple hook. You go back to that unknown water zone? Yeah, of course. There's probably a couple places I could go to. I just don't know off the top of my head. And also, I just again, I feel like I'm missing stuff in a bunch of rooms because I only have like 40% of the items. back the way I was, so we need to go up. We need to get to the top here. few spots I could go to. There's two spots in the Chozo Ruins I could go to as well. to the floor. Why couldn't I have gone up that before? That's weird. Do I have to actually, like, deal with you? Nope. I guess leave. Interesting, because the gravity suit in the other games usually stops you from taking lava damage. Still need the grapple hook to get up there, though.
warning. Let's go those two Chosa Ruin places first, then we'll go back to the... Well, I guess it's on the way anyway. One second. Sorry, one moment. Sorry about that. Chaz ruins. Let's go. Is that a hole back there? No, it isn't. Light. Oh, that's it. That's the first room I gotta go to. I'm gonna have to sign up for now. See you soon. Talk to you later. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. I'll look at the funny looking Ninkadas. <laughs> Damn it. 
Oh, no, not this shit. I dealt with this enough. These are ghost type scythers. That's gonna be cool. I mean, we already got what, what was Cleavor? Rock stone, rock type scyther. this area with the tower that I had to get to the top of but now I have to go down here I had a feeling there's gonna be an artifact Artifact of Life Giver, the fifth of twelve. Even though it's only my third. you before because I needed to get through. These are, without a doubt, the, the worst enemies that get added in later. The next room I gotta go to is... Not the magma pool. Vault? No. Hive totem? No. Where is it? Watery Hall, that's it. Made some banana bread, nice. I haven't had banana bread in a while. Someone told me they ate banana bread the other day. That's very interesting, let's come up again. I think it was Nessie. She hadn't eaten and she was she was tired. Our friend uh, made one time made zucchini bread with fresh zucchinis that they grew and it was so good. It was sweet. I was like, oh, I didn't know zucchini bread was sweet. It's really good. Okay, not the magma pool. We gotta get over here. So we gotta go to the left. Oh, 
God, all the fun rooms are not fun anymore. Made another one, but it didn't come out as well because I didn't think I put the sugar in. I didn't put the... Sh you think you didn't put the sugar and I didn't exactly multiply the goods accordingly. So it came out decent, just not sweet. Uh. Yeah, bananas on their own aren't super sweet. Some pineapples. That's why pineapple upside down cake is always better with actual canned pineapple instead of fresh one. Because uh, canned pineapple is already pre-sweetened. You learned, yes. I wonder if I can get that missile upgrade above, but I can always come, I'm going to come back, so I'll figure it out then. That was just a missile expansion. I thought there'd be more here. Dynamo. Now I want to ever see that first loaf again because I gave it to your sibling for a potluck lunch and like they won't give it back. Wow. Well, that's good. They they like it so much. Okay, we know where we have to go. We have to go to the uh, to the ship. I think at this point we've seen all we can see at the moment. I'm sure I'm wrong. I'm sure I missed like a million items, but... That being said, I do want to... Uh... Something up, like how do I get that? Luminescent cylinders functioning at 80%. Structural weakness detected throughout the sandstone wall. Maybe I don't... I guess I still don't have whatever that is. I don't know. Can't make it. Need the grappling hook to get that. Not that big. You put butter or something on the second loaf. Yeah. Banana bread with butter is really good. Any bread with butter is good. 
Alright, let's head back to the sunken ship. When you're longer East Coast butter, yeah. No, but I use the half sticks though. That's so goofy that you've never seen them that long there, yeah. No, we have the long sticks here. Cool. Finally got that one. So weird moving so quickly underwater now. <laughs> but it's so satisfying. Yeah, she grew up a country crock butter in quotation marks in the tub. No Fabio, sadly. I mean, we always just use butter. We never use substitute. Though we do have unsalted here as well. We have regular and unsalted. I don't know what my mom uses the unsalted for, but we have it. Yeah, no, she has unsalted. It's, she, it's used in something specific, and I don't know what. Like, she uses it for cooking. Oh, we're in the right place, because now there's space pirates here. Alive? I mean, now these enemies are gone, but it doesn't really matter much. Unless this tube is for nothing.
Space scythers, yeah. Space pirates are, the, are scythers. Uh, okay. It's like that one shaft in uh, Other M, except fun. Huh. Well, that one's dead. Whatever it is. Treats that one like a uh, like an enemy, even though it's been uh, stomped. Doors no power. Three nearby pond power pond kind of kind of boop 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 dish I had the foresight to use that visor in this room before. I could have gotten them on the way up. Place has a chasu bowl too. Ooh. I can still get the spicy ramen from it, but to be honest, the place is kind of hit or miss. I've gotten food from them that's really good, and sometimes I've gotten ramen that's just like. like undercooked noodles, and. Eh, it's not good. They do have an umami bomb, though, which is really cool. It's like this little ball of spices that's just like pure umami flavor. And it, uh... It really does make everything savory. Holy cow. Stop. Hate it when the food changes according to who's making it that day, yeah. Exactly, that's what eating there feels like. Also, I'm pretty sure the food there made me sick at least once, which is kind of shitty, but... It sucks, because it's like the only ramen place around, and it's usually good. Cordite's door, st Cordite door structural integrity below safety tolerances. Okay.
is that thing? Mechanoid, Aqua Drone. Security mecha adapted for use in underwater areas. The space parts have adapted a number of sentry drones for use in a liquid environment. These Aqua Drones utilize an arsenal and artificial intelligence suite similar to their cousins. The pirates have been unable to properly shield these drones from electrical attack, making them vulnerable to the wave beam. Okay. Well, we got the means to take them out. They don't seem to be too vulnerable to it. Taking a lot of punishment. Explosion.gif. See, I don't know what destroys Cordite. That's kind of the problem. Like, they keep mentioning these different, like, elements, and I'm like, well, what destroys it? What's gonna destroy objects made from radion or brimstone? Maybe the next upgrade I get is a, uh... Nickelbackite. Oh no, I can just use the super missile. I use the missiles to get the missiles. Cool. More power conduits? Yep. Oh, there's a platform here to get out. Okay. Or not. Should be just turning on the the thermal visor in every room just to see if there's any buttons to hit ahead of time.
Aqua Pirate, Space Pirate, Aqua Pirate, Space Pirates with exoskeletons, well, exoskeletons modified for underwater use. Using modified thruster packs and gravity suit technology, the pi Space Pirates have armor suits for use in liquid environments. Thermal tracking is still very useful against these units as the Pirate Engineers have yet to eliminate the thruster pack's high heat signature. enemies in here. Oh, it's the enemies in the previous room. It's not good. Aqua sack. <laughs> God damn it! Every time, every I want to say I want to say it like Vinny says it every time. Aqua sack will burst when subjected to impact or trauma. Believed to be the same family as the sap sack, this plant has similar features. It will burst when exposed to force. This protective response keeps it, most creatures from feeding on it. I'm just gonna blow it the hell up. So that blueberry from Paper Mario? The, the, yeah, I guess so. I can't remember which one. I just streamed Paper Mario last year, too. I should do a thousand year door stream at some point. That game is very good. Now that I've streamed uh, the original. Only one door? No, there's two. No, there's one. Never mind. <laughs> This looks like Chozo lore, but it's not. At the same time, though, like, no, there's nothing scannable there.
huh. <gasps> there was a bonus up there! Shut! Gotta go back up. Knew there was something up here. Only five more E tanks. The gel zap. Playing the waiting game with this thing. It's annoying. That's way quicker. Okay, I'm not seeing any switches down here. There are numerous doors. Oh, wait, we're at the bottom of that area from before. I knew this room looked familiar. When I walked into it. This is the place where I can't get through that tree line towards the top. So I guess I'm just here just to get through that bottom white door. Yeah, I can't get above there. So the choices are the white door here, or a path to nowhere, I'm guessing. Let's see what's over here first. Oh, this unlocks the gate that was over here, right? It's a shortcut back. Yep. Now I can go above the uh, cloud, the clouds, the branches. But uh, I can't, I still can't, oh, maybe I can reach the, no. The blue door is like obscured. I can't reach that. And that white door leads to a room that I, has no way of like breaking through it. This just leads back to the elevator. There's a door there, but I can't reach it. Yeah. So there's not a ton we could do here, unfortunately. But there is that door over there that I haven't gone through yet. Tense radiation detected. Uh-oh. That's not good. Oh, that's the phase on shit down there. We on that phase on shit. Access to phase on mines east granted. Please step into the hologram. Ooh, a new area. Yeah, let's go.
Mike is still streaming. Wow. Damn. He's been at it. He streams... When he does Pizza Tower, he goes hard. He goes hard on the pizza. The mad lad, yeah. Like, the last time, didn't he stream for five hours just to get a single P rank? Oh, I didn't bother with that. I don't want to torture myself with that on stream. Oh, good. Radiation is off the freaking charts. Mega turret, perimeter defense turret reinforced with energy shielding. Frustrated with inferior armor plating on standard defense turrets, the space pirates added energy shielding to a modified heavy cannon. New shielding and increased beam strength makes the mega turret an effective point of defense weapon. Ah, great. Dual control force field is online. Deactivation controls are likely nearby. Grapple peam. Grapple peam. Grapple beam point. You don't want to mess with the grapple peen. That's a different thing altogether. Secondary force field control disabled. Okay. Primary force field control disabled. Basic bitch space pirates. Basic bitch ass hope I am. Crane unit scan indicates recent use. Device is currently inactive. Cool. Crane controls are functional but require power. Power conduit is nearby. Result of a blast of electrical energy will energize the conduit. Store power to the crane. Transfer of building materials is complete. Port all phase on mutations to the science team immediately. All units with useful mutations will receive an increase in pay and rations. Elite and trooper candidates are now being selected by command. Get radiation poisoning, get bonuses!
You might grow a limb, too. Okay. What? Why? Oh, I see. It's probably... Has to do with the crane. It's probably how you get over there. Crane controls now active. That's empty. Hmm. Oh god, you can move it multiple times. Oh no, 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 no. Don't like that. Does it only go between those two spots, though? Yeah, it looks like it. Crane Dad. Anyone's ever seen that first, uh, Amazing Spider-Man movie? Uh, there's, there's a whole sequence in it where a bunch of... where, where a dad that Spider-Man saves earlier in the movie gets a whole bunch of his crane operating buddies to make, like, a, a crane, like, ta like, not tower, but, like, a crane, like, function, like... Like, bridge, almost, that Spider-Man can swing from. It is the stupidest thing ever. It is so silly, and it's such, like, it comes out of nowhere. It's like, oh, hey, this random guy Spider-Man saved just happens to know, just happens to be part of the crane operating crew. <laughs> and can get Spider-Man to where he needs to be quicker because they can push all the cranes together and, and have him be able to reach it. Very silly. Very silly indeed. Save station access granted. Okay. Well, you have to scan that one. Oh, yeah, we want to save. Any bit of heat, any bit of fire has that heat source. Really cool. Sorry, really hot, I mean. Does having the crane in the other direction help me reach the door? I don't think it does. Maybe it does, I don't know. It probably does, but I probably need the grapple beam. So activating again is probably a smart idea. Yeah, I need the grapple beam to get over there. That's that's how they get you. Which means our only route forward is here. Auto turret malfunction. <laughs> so 
reminding me, these, these areas are reminding me of like other M areas where there'd be like a hidden hole, just in a random part. Thankfully this game has good design and doesn't do that. Shadow Pirate. noise. Force field activate. Active. Access. Prohibited. That's a, that's a red door. Those were shadow pirates. They, uh, they, they shield them, or they, they become invisible, invisible. If I use heat tracking, I could track them, but it's like, there's no point. I could just blast them with missiles. Oh no, what is that thing down there? Oh god, I think these things are fucked up. Wave Trooper. Space pirate armed with wave beam technology. Space pirates have reverse engineered several of your weapons, including the wave beam. A flaw in the design makes these pirates vulnerable to their own weapon beam system. These weapons are inferior to your Chozo designed originals, but still quite potent. Okay. God, that blows new missiles, but that's so fun to use. Security bioscan locks in place. Locks key to space part life signs only. Access denied. Access denied. Microfractures present in the Bendesium blast gate. What the fuck does that mean? What is. What's good against Bendesium? Copium. <laughs> Massive amounts of copium. Gotta stop wasting the missiles. Uh, radiation.
platform systems active. <laughs> Wasn't supposed to do that before killing them. Uh, they're shooting at me in during the cutscene. Space Pirate Encrypted. Log 11.001.9. Initial Project Helix experiments with Space Pirate embryos were disastrous. Phase on infusion process that generated brain tissue even as it augmented muscle mass. None of what we have termed elite pirates lived to maturity. Few that survived their infanthood suffered severe psych psychotic breakdowns as juveniles, killing anything within their zone of perception. Research team Sclera made a recent breakthrough in which a parasite studies... In which parasite studies with the phazon strain codenamed Vertigo were highly successful. Since then, we've successfully fused Vertigo phazon with pirate DNA, space pirate DNA with great success. The latest batch of elite pirates have reached full maturity and successfully, successfully and are ready for field testing and training. Uh. Unit ident code EPG8642, batch 23. Field designation Elite Pirate Alpha. Stasis tank hull reinforced with bendesium alloy plates. Again with that bendesium. Recommended battle system for elite pirates are as follows. Shoulder-mounted plasma artillery cannon, pulsion shield, wave quake projector, energy siphon system, and retractable wrist bayonets. A legal barrier move. <laughs> nah, this ain't Pokemon. This ain't Pokemon Gem 1. No illegal Dragonites here. Platform systems active. Fancy. Security alert. All stations. Bioform Samus Aaron has made planetfall on Talon 4. Hunters among us. All units are hereby ordered to attack Aaron on sight. Terminal forces authorized. Report all sightings of Aaron to Security Command at once. Yeah, this is a horror game, alright, but also it's, it's a horror game for the enemies, because they, uh... They're just gonna get fucked up. Attention all units, report to your battle stations. Failure to comply with this order is an act of treason. Treason is punishable by termination. Industrial pulse beam online. Auto firing mode engaged. Power Trooper. Space Pirate armed with Power Beam technology. Space Pirates have reverse engineered several of your weapons, including the Power Beam. Following his arm makes these pirates vulnerable to their own beam system. Those weapons are... Yeah. It's the exact same... Trying to play stupid. I should be playing smart. Oh my god. Am I am I actually an idiot? I think I might be. I think I might be stupid.
Man, they up your Dawn dish soap and I'm in uh, about it. Oh, the price, yeah. Yeah, shit sucks. Industrial grade pulse beam, mining configuration. Uh, I guess I shoot it there. Yeah, looks like I shoot. Oh, I shoot it straight at the other end. Okay. But it also looks like there's shit over here to shoot it at. Surface integrity of 42% present. Presence of thermal power signature detected. Further pulse beam exposure could cause collapse. go. Surface integrity at 13%. Further pulse beam exposure could cause collapse. Surface integrity at 44%. Okay. I wonder if you get anything for doing the other rolls. does. There's got to be something behind one of them. You know there you know there is. Two more walls we could blow up. gonna be nothing? That's kind of lame. After all the trouble I went through. Ah, knew it. One of these had to have some goodies behind it. Oh man, what is this? able to just fall through that. <laughs> I'm 
Okay, that does a lot of damage. fuck do I do? I'm dead. I'm... Oh, this sucks. Fuck from last save. Oh, man. Wow, that was, uh... That was, like, 20 minutes ago, huh? Fuck, man. They really, uh... They really... You really get punished for dying in this game, huh? All the enemies here are back, too. 95. Uh... You know what? You know what? We might just redo. I might just redo it next time. I, I don't think I have the energy to go all the way back there and then fuck up again. I think. Uh, I think. I think that's. I think that's unfortunately the limit for tonight. I mean, it's it's been almost three hours. I was only gonna go for like another ten minutes anyway. So I don't know where the next save point is, but we'll have to redo it uh, next time I come back. I'm just not feeling it right now. To be honest, I, I need to stop streaming. I'm not. I'm not feeling too good. Uh, but yeah, I'll. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, sorry about that. But thank you so much for coming. I appreciate it. I always do. Um, if you want to watch more streams, check out Twitch.tv/team/WildAbandoned. Plenty of people streaming there right now. Um, I'll be back tomorrow again. I might. Since I have some time on FF14 that I didn't realize I had, and it's only lasting another four days, I might stream it tomorrow as kind of like a one-off special. And then Saturday, I'll probably come back with a Splatfest stream. And then next week, we'll, we'll focus mostly on Metroid. Prim primarily on Metroid. I was hoping to beat it this week, and I just we're just nowhere near the end, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, thank you for coming. I appreciate it, as always. You'll have a great evening, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.